Artificial intelligence is being used in facial recognition systems, rideshare apps, even spam filters. So what's next? How about avoiding traffic crashes, maybe? That's what's happening in Lakeland. Fox 13's Ken Suarez joins us now to explain. Uh, Ken, this would be exciting. You know, it really is exciting. It's pretty... Uh, uh forthcoming record-breaking kind of uh, approach to things. Bottom line is that they're using AI, as it's called, to identify potential red light runners before they put the lives of innocent people at risk. You've probably gotten that rush of adrenaline. When the light turns green, you start to drive into the intersection, and someone blows a red light and barely misses you. Lakeland is hoping to cut down on those adrenaline pumping, stomach churning near misses and crashes with the help of artificial intelligence. It works through a series of sensors that are placed along the road starting 150 feet away from the intersection itself. It's measuring the speed of the vehicle, the distance from the intersection. If the speeding car looks like it's going to run the red light, the system keeps the light of the cross traffic red for up to four seconds, which keeps the vehicles out of harm's way. The computer makes an instantaneous, possibly life-saving decision. It happens in milliseconds. The Florida Department of Transportation just gave Lakeland half a million dollars to install AI at 25 of the city's busiest intersections because of the success of a pilot program here. For the last year, the city's been testing AI at four intersections. Recently, it took a good look at what happened at one of them over a 24-hour period. 45 vehicles that our system detected ran the red light. We're in the intersection while the light was red. How many crashes? Zero. So that really says a lot. State officials and local officials are going to be meeting pretty soon to talk about where these new AI stoplights are going to go in and when they're going to go in. Still up in the air, but they are definitely coming our way. All right. Let's hope they work out these bugs for sure soon. Ken, thanks.